I'm Tibor Horvat. I'm working for NRCS at the East National Technology Support Center. And I'm going to give you a demonstration on the Mirror Management Planner software. Okay. So the Mirror Management Planner, as, you, as in the name, it's a nutrient management planning software. It's a focused making plans for comprehensive nutrient management plans, so you're dealing with animal minors, and it's used nationwide, available for 49 states, but actively we have about 38 states using the Mural Management Planner. Purdue University uh, developed uh, the program in 1999, it was released in 2000, the funds came mostly from NRCS, there were other stakeholders also funding this project. And uh, Purdue University lost their programmers a few years ago, so now they subcontracted with the My Farms uh, company. So you can see the download page right here on the slide. The website is uh, www.purduemmpmyfarms.com. And when you click on the download, you would first have to put in your name and email address. And if you click on the download button, you will receive an email with the download link. Okay, and uh, so far I'm showing you the distribution coming from the download numbers. And looks like 35 was this year, 35 from the extension agent, 61 from ag retailer, 122 from conservation districts. Producers 159. Now, NRCS employee, this is just who came to his website, but NRCS employees typically download it from their software center in house. So it's a lot bigger number for NRCS. The crop consultants, 283, and the blue, the others who did not fill out their affiliation at the, at the download. So these are the users distribution. So when you open the software, you can go up to this opening window. And you see the current version is 4.0.3.0. And you can see here what is new in this version compared to the previous version. The problem with this uh, MMP desktop version is this is a desktop application. So it's an executable file. Anytime some state makes a changes in the nutrient recommendations or the phosphorus index, we just have to reprogram the version and release a new version. So this is kind of problematic. That's why NRCS have a contract now with Purdue University and through the My Farms company. We are working on the web MMP that's going to be a web application. So there'll be no more issue with downloading and, and getting the new version. It's probably automatically updated on the website. Actually, we're looking for the end of this year, we would have one state uh, available on the web MMP application. You know, and here you can check on the updates. There is some frequently asked questions you can help you and have some sample comprehensive nutrient management plans from different states. So right now I said it's programmed for 49 states, but actively we have 38 states that's using. So many states have, like for example, New York they have, and, and Wisconsin have their own state developed nutrient management plan that they prefer to use for developing these comprehensive nutrient management plans. Like I said, this is a state-specific program. So when you download it and you select which state you're going to develop a nutrient management plan, I brought up the page from Alabama. So we receive from each state land-grant university, their state-specific nutrient recommendations and crop removal rates for phosphorus and for potassium. And based on this data, the MMP will create a nutrient management plan. Other thing is the state-specific phosphorus index. So I see many neighboring states have a very different phosphorus index. To this example from Alabama, showing you their uh, source characteristics listed and uh, transport characteristics and come up with the combined risk assessment. This was actually low. So this allows the producer to apply minor based on the nitrogen need of the crop. When the phosphorus index go up to a medium, this means they cannot apply more manure just as much as the crop phosphorus removal rate. Okay. And when the MMP creates a comprehensive nutrient management plan, it will generate a CNMP document in Microsoft Word based on how many fields, how many tracts involved. It could be 
as much as 100 pages. This example is only 26 pages because we only have two fields listed in this nutrient management plan. MMP also have an option, use it for fertilizer only, nutrient management plan, and that's also widely used by uh, crop consultants. With that, I'm going to go over to the actual application, give you a short demo. So when you open the middle management planner, that's what we're going to see, and you click OK. And this has a feature called reopen. I use it a lot, so if I'm working on a CNMP, I come here and it immediately brings back the plan I was working on previously. So just like the snap loss, they have these tabs on the top, and you go from left to right to finish the nutrient management plan. The general tab gives you the customer, the, the client's information, address, and uh, which county, which state. So right now we are in Alabama, Houston County, and this is going to be a five-year plan. Each state submitted their setback database. So Alabama has two sets of setbacks, one for CAFO operations, and one is for the NRCS tender. So you can check one or the other. Next tab is the fields. This is showing you the track number, field number, total acres and spreadable acres, because we're going to identify features like a stream, a well, sinkhole, when you have a typical uh, mineral application setback. So you cannot spread mineral on those areas. And MMP would need that acres to calculate how much nutrients is needed on that field. So is data also coming on the fields tab. The assessment tab is, gives you data for the state-specific phosphorus index, like what kind of uh, perennial stream or lake or well or sinkhole is exist, and the distance to the field also very important. And it gives credit for conservation practices for like buffers. This P in this is typically give a, a transport factor credit if you have an existing install conservation buffer like a filter strip or a forest buffer. Next tab is going to be the soil tests. And depends on what kind of uh, phosphorus extraction method was used. You would have to select in that in that P test use uh, column. And very important that some soil test comes in PPM. So if the soil test report coming in PPM, then you don't check this box. But if the soil test report indicates a pounds per acre, then you need to check this box to show it's in pounds per acre for the nutrients. Have the pH information, cation exchange capacity is important part of the soil test report. The next step is the crops. That's when the planner identify on each field for each crop year, what is the crop. So I try to make a simple plan, just straight corn silage, but I also plan for a cover crop. So if you scroll to the right, there will be a column for uh, cover crops. So I'm planning a small green cover crop for this field, which helps for the soil loss. And uh, MMP has the Russell 2 software embedded into the program. So when you click on this Russell 2 tab, it will match if you're looking for the Russell 2 database, which has the soil information, climate, and crop management. You have to select that and select the climate location and the soil survey. Now we're using the Servo direct uh, database to get the current soil database. If the farm is using contour farming, you can select here the row gradient. It's also happened the soil loss prediction. So the annual soil loss is part of the phosphorus index. That's why we have the Russell 2 soil erosion prediction tool in this program. When you click on check data, it will calculate your annual soil loss for each year for each field. So it's 1.3, 1.1. And if you click on the P risk uh, button, it will calculate your state specific phosphorus index for each crop year. And that's going to be coming up in a word format. I wanted to show you right there for each field with the source characteristics and the transport characteristics. All right. With that, I'm going to move on to the storage. So there is a calculation button, so you could calculate a rectangular, uh, like a dry stack area, how 
wide, how long can the depth and the freeboard, and you could calculate how many tons of solid manure is on that storage facility. We not recommend for liquid manure because it does not calculate the rainfall and evaporation, but it's it's quite accurate for a solid manure uh, storage capacity calculation. Move on to the animals tab. You can see we have a dairy farm, milking cows, breeding heifers, and calf. And based on they are there year round, and 100% of the manure is collected. And we added a one pound bedding material. And this all goes to the drastic facility. See that. Okay. Oops. Okay, next one is the analysis. Hold it up. So this is basically using book values. If you don't have an actual minor analysis report, then MM people bring in the state specific uh, book values for minor nutrient content. If the Langen University don't have one, then MMP would use Purdue University's uh, book values on nutrient content for a dry uh, dairy manure. Also calculates the generated mineral production for that year. It's 50, 90 tons per year based on the animal numbers, animal size, and the bedding material. There's an equipment, how the mineral going to be spread. And then we got to the very end, the nutrient management plan. This is where the planner can apply. Uh, mineral applications with how many 1.5 tons per acre for example it's got about 35 loads with that spreader we specified and calculates right away how many pounds of nitrogen applied how many more needed and phosphorus so that's a very good uh, planning tool for uh, fertilizer applications just basically double click and brings up the fertilizer fertilizer application editor it tells you this field actually don't need more nitrogen, some zero. And if uh, you need to export manure from the operation, it's a double click on that manure storage on that month. It brings up the manure transfer editor, then you can export manure to an external operation. And when it's all complete, then you can go and check the projected soil phosphorus levels. That's an excellent tool, because if your phosphorus index is high or medium if it's high you have to show on the plan that the soil test phosphorus levels are lower so we have to show a uh, mining faster from the soil so this field had a 76 pounds uh, p205 at the beginning and by the five-year plan we brought it down to 55 pounds per acre on the field 23 we did a very good job we lowered the soil test faster levels so the nuclear mention plan can show uh, how you manage your phosphorus and, and nitrogen. When it's all completed, there's another very good feature, check plan for data completeness. It tells you that you are finished, or if something missing, there's a warning, you can fix it. And then the last thing you can do, uh, you create your uh, CNMP document. That happens when you click on tools and click on custom. You can see these uh, document maker templates some states have their state-specific CNMP document maker template because they have, for example, requiring an emergency plan in the CNMP that require no more mortality management or even catastrophic mortality management in their plan. At this state right here, we can just click on the Make CNMP document, and then MMP will bring up the Microsoft, Microsoft Word and going to extract all the data from the MMP program and putting it into this uh, Microsoft Word CNMP document. You can see the process right now. If you have time, it's going to first uh, bring in the cropping system, the crop rotations, field information, soils, calculating soil loss for each crop year, each field. Then we calculate the phosphorus index for each crop year and each field then generate this Word document with the table of contents. And you know, the planner able to bring in maps, like soils maps. If you bring it from web soil survey, you can bring in, for example, a mineral application setback map. If you develop with a ArcGIS soft software or with a geospatial nutrient tool, so that's a very important part of the CNMP to show to the client where not to spread manure on those areas like next to a perennial stream or a 
property line or presidential area. Here is the Word document, the CNMP. This is a 2016 format. So right now we have uh, three sections in our CNMP format. First is a signature page, and there is a table of contents, you can tell. And here is the place where you can bring in those maps, so is maps for mineral application setback maps and other data needed for the for the state specific CNMP document. So we can see animal inventory and there is the mineral spreading schedule. I wanted to scroll so not to make you sick. Here is the crop rotation for each field, phosphorus index for each field. That's also a state specific phosphorus index. Okay, so that's a tool that's used by actively 38 states. And like I said, this year we launched the first web application, WebMMP, so you don't need any more downloading and checking the current version. With that, I would like to give back and stop sharing my screen.